ja, was machen wir denn da jetzt? Also wir müssen mit allen reden. Drax, how are you doing? I am distraught. The Forge can bring my family back. Yet you consider destroying it. Well, I... You are our leader. And it is your decision. So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not trust me to guard Nebula. Well, that... And you did not behave in a trustworthy manner just now. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that. Even if the tree did not mind. Come on, it wasn't that bad. Was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. Yeah. I probably shouldn't have done it. I'm sorry. It, bad taste on my part. I am glad you are so apologetic. Though I do not understand how your mistake could taste badly. Her ability to see into our emotions. It must be difficult. I would not wish to know the pain of others as well as my own. Thank you for checking in on me, Peter. You may leave now. Okay, also da haben wir uns quasi jetzt den ersten Mal vorgenommen, um dem seine Sachen zu bereinigen. Reden wir mit Gamora und okay hier? Not now. Just give us a minute, please. Erstmal mit Groot reden. Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. Hey, bud, what's up? Go away. I am Groot. What? You heard me. Oh, I can't believe how selfish you're being. First, you broke your promise about going to Half World with me. Because you were more worried about that Nimrod Nebula. You know, because why would I factor into any of your decisions? It was a bad call, Rocket. I am Groot. Listen, I know I should have kept my promise. It was a bad call. And you're about to make another one. I mean, I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back someone they love. I see your point. I do. And who knows, maybe you're right. Look, I'll think about it. Good. Think about it long and hard, Peter. We got this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We shouldn't pass it up. Hey, P. You know, you know what you... You know what you... Well, that's one way to deal with emotions. I am brute. Hey, are you okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while, Ugh. she won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know. I'm really trying. I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe, maybe if we had more time, I could try talking to her again when she's calmed down. Give her some space without losing her altogether. Look, I hate to say it, but in this case, more time might just mean more stabbing. I mean, 
It's Nebula we're talking about here. You're probably right. I'm done with her. Okay, jetzt mit Nebula. Die sollen mal nicht so durch die Gegend laufen. Um. Hey Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, Peter Quill. But, uh, yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool. Yeah, this is, uh, this is really. How's the arm? That's for forcing me to give you the cipher. And that's for not letting me fight the Kree. Well, at least your arm's okay. <laughs> I guess. Yes, it's not bad. Though Gamora would say the same. Speaking of my dear sister, that you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. She says that you won't talk to her. She's really broken up about how you two fell apart. <laughs> well, that's pretty much all thanks to her. I bet she forgot to mention how she ruined our family. How she destroyed my life. Yeah, but well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree. General, dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. Crap. Is everything all right? What's going on? Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. Gamora is a good teacher. I owe all my knowledge to her. And yet you emerged the victor. You have clearly outgrown her teachings. There is something you must know about Gamora. She said she would not disappoint me. But I am not so sure. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I'll keep an eye on her from now on. Good. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side. As my greatest warrior and only daughter, Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Where she fails, you thrive. Father, I need Gamora. She's my teacher and my sister. You underestimate yourself, Nebula. This mission will prove that. 
This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Kämpfen hier. Uh, ganz böse. Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me. I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Nebula. Father. You don't need Gamora anymore. And neither do I. If you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you? Hm, mal interessant die andere Seite zu sehen. Is it done? What's going on? making him see it wasn't over none of your business Gamora it is my business Peter I was trying to show him what really happened with Tarval but of course you interrupted us this is between you and me like you haven't been telling him your side of the story he came to me because he was sick of hearing about Whoa. it from you she was always pushing against Thanos testing his limits what happened was her fault yeah I practically shoved that knife into my own back. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin. Gamora, you are. I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh, yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Thanos said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. Oh, yeah. She really made it better. Instead, I ended up suffering. I saved your life. Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me by killing If me. I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead. Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know, I even checked your pulse just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part, the most important part, but I did. That doesn't make any sense. I'm kind of believing her here, Gamora. If she hadn't fake killed you, I'm... Pretty sure Thanos would have been a lot more thorough. Peter, no offense, but you're being an idiot. I want you out of my life! For good. Well, at least we're on the same page about that. Good! Good! I can't believe you just said you wanted me out of your but life! You agreed with me! I did, but I wouldn't have said you it! You made it very, very clear! Even if you haven't spoken the actual words. Oh yeah, words. you're really good at reading between the lines, especially when it comes to me. Well... I have to fill in the blanks, don't I? Guys, stop. Family always works itself out. That's the beauty of having one. Do you think... 
Do you think we should maybe try? All right. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Okay. Let's go. I guess this is really happening. Okay. Well, if it isn't my favorite assassin sisters. <laughs> wow, that'd be a pretty rad band name. Hey, Peter. Give me one second. I'll meet you in my room. Sure. Quill. Thank you for talking to Nebula. Not sure if this will all work out, but I'm hopeful. Uh, what are you? Ow! Hey! What? I don't know, was that a dagger? Was it, what do you got, a throwing star there? Whatever, you got something pokey on your hip. I do not usually hug. You're a good friend, Peter. <laughs> wow, you take great pride in yourself. For someone who is so sad. You are a very nostalgic person. <laughs> for that sometimes emotions overwhelm me and reflect back <sighs> onto others yeah, that's cool <clears throat> i'm cool i'm cool okay mm -hmm. everyone on this ship is so poisoned by their feelings overly focused on the past not living here in the now experiencing all the wonderful things around you well it's Hard to let go of the past. Makes you who you are. I can see that. But I don't want to be defined by what came before. Everyone should be able to correct the course they're on. Thank you for letting me listen to your music. It made me feel better. And worse at the same time. I loved it. Okay. When you solche Gefühls. Sachen mag. Ja. Keine Ahnung. 